Hello, welcome to the second episode of the Stay at Home Shopping Network. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. On our channel, we do all things DIY, home decor, farmhouse, and on Thursdays, we've started going live showing you new items that you can find on our website, which is in the description box, but you can check out at jamierayvintagehome.com. If you guys follow us on social media, you probably saw that we got a ginormous haul today. How big was that haul, Ned? Because a you're thousand a pounds. They put it all on one <laughs> pallet, and it was it was like ten feet high on that pallet. It was crazy. Um, yeah, Zeb. Oops, I'm turning the sound off. Sorry. It was crazy. I have been listing stuff right up until we went live. I just want to make sure everything's good. There were some pictures that didn't go up. A lot of these items are handmade and antique some of them are one of a kind and we have put every single last one of them up on the uh, website i for one <laughs> for whatever reason one of them is not showing a picture so if you go look for it you might not be able to find a picture but we'll show it to you so you'll know what I'll it looks like here find it. let me pull up the comments everybody's saying hello hello um, we decided to start doing these lives because i know a lot of you guys are dying to go antiquing and junking and all the stores are closed with the current situation. So we want to show you guys in person the items and what they are. So what are we starting with first? All right, so I might have to go move the camera one more time. I've been kind of adjusting it. We've been rushing to get this stuff listed. All right, so these are water jugs. They're hand carved wood. Some of them are turned, but they're all different sizes. So you'll have to look. This is water jug D on the drop down menu. And I'm going to show you about, I think there's seven of well, them. Well, there's A, B, C, D, E, F. How many is that? Six letters. Okay. A, B, so C, D, let me bring the camera closer so you can get All right, the good so detail. these are awesome. So they are antique water jugs. They're jugs that they would have used to get water from the well. Every single one of them is unique, and we have lettered them. And you can find them at jamierayvintagehome.com under antique wood water jug. Tell them how awesome these are. You want to pull them all up so they can see them. Yeah. $59.95 each, and they're one of a kind. So when A is gone, it's gone. When B is gone, it's gone. Yeah, we don't have more of them. This one is probably my favorite. Oh, your, your hat is a little dusty. It's just paint. It's paint dust from spraying at the farmhouse. All right, so I'm going to show you guys this one, and then whoever has the fastest this fingers is the best one. at jamierayvintagehome.com. This one's my favorite. Has a handle. Has a handle. What letter is that? This is A. A. No. So if you go to jamierayvintagehome.com under wo antique wood water jug, this is A. And everything, I think a lot of people ask, everything is on the website. So you don't have to comment sold or with your PayPal. You just buy it on the website. And if when we're all done, you have a few different orders, um, we will fix them to combine shipping at that point because I know it gets a little bit crazy. This especially one, with the one of a kind. This one is my second favorite. This is C, and it's got some you, damage, and they've repaired it over the years and here and there. Are you going out not in new alphabetical? I'm order? showing you my favorites, and then I'll go. All right, so A is coming over here. This is C. A. All right. Heart Foundation says I look awesome, thank you. With my day two hair and side braid. I don't know why I never shower before I go live, but okay. it's one of those things. So this is C. I'm gonna show them B next because you're really making my eye play. A and C, and then we have B. All right. And then I'll go in order. Okay. So these are just, they're super fun. They're, they're, this looks one like they're had turned, probably, right? Yeah, they're turned. It's hard to say because they're, they're not uniform. They've got like some repairs Seven and line. things. Oh, yeah. They're hand turned. And I've got the iPad here, so I don't have to go back and forth between comments. Okay, this Vintage is... Vintage Vibe says, I love the one with the handle. All right, so did you show them B? I did. Yeah. All right, so next we have D. Odelia's on here. What is she saying? Ikea. <laughs> Odelia was with her dad when she... Odelia, what did you think when dad got e. that giant pallet today? She was freaking out. She thought we were going to hit all the signs on the freeway. <laughs> Because it was so high was poking so out the back of the truck. She sent me a picture of it through the sunroof, what it looked like. Yeah, it was way above, uh, which was handy because I could so watch this is it. E. I actually really like E. Yeah. It's like a really simple shape. These are water jugs, but I personally would put like some really tall like cotton or flowers in them. Yeah. I feel like that would make them. These are $59.95 in case you're just tuning in. 
jamierayvintagehome.com. Disclaimer, I don't know if they're still watertight. Disclaimer, I don't know if Caitlin's on here. <laughs> I'm going to... Maybe send her a little text, be like, hey, can you... Odelia, can you stay on here? Can you be the moderator? Make sure no creepers All right, get on. so this is F. Um, yes, we can ship stencils to Canada. You have to go to jamierayvintage.com. Yep, separate website. This is jamierayvintagehome.com. And for like paint and crafting products and supplies, jamierayvintage.com is where you get that. All right. Okay, jugs are all out. Next, right here by my elbow, we have... Vintage Vibe says, I'm not shouting, guys. It's just easier for me, for you to see me in all caps. Okay. So this is the, this is adobo. These are handmade. They're not old, but they are hand carved. And what's, we have two variations on this size. So we've got this one, and then we've got these white kind of dry brush looking ones without a handle. But I like the coloring on this one a lot. Oh. I'm texting Caitlin to see if I can get her on. Hold on. Did you not Time turn out. your phone on? I forgot the do not disturb. I was hustling to get the video up. It was a little bit crazy. Okay. So, oh, Ivy's on moderating. Oh, all right, thank Ivy. you, Ivy. I, Ivy, would you drop the link to the website, jamierayvintagehome.com? Thank you, thank you. Heart Foundation says she just got more DIY paint. Okay, so this double, what is the price on this one? Hold on. You got. You were too fast for me. So this one is $44.95 and it comes with the handles. And this is the small dough bowl with handles. Now it measures 20 by 11 by 3.5. Zeb, show them the forearm test so they can get an idea. Okay, so these are handmade. They do vary in shape and size just a little bit, but it's essentially about 18 inches right there. Yeah. What is the dimensions 20. on there? 20, yeah, close. The reason why I like these is because we have the big mama jamas that are kind of expensive. And these are like moderately priced dough bowls that are affordable. And if you don't have a giant table, these are perfect for that. So we've got the small dough bowl with handles. And this is the small European dough bowl. Yeah. Well, they're great for tablescapes with like fruit or whatever in them. Or you can also use them on like a smaller coffee table to hold things. Um, I like, I, you know what I discovered since you wow. got this smaller size? I need it. By the front door so i can just throw like wallet keys glasses that all is in too there. big for you to be putting by the front door this is perfect size for my stuff this people is, are ordering this is stuff Zeb on the website stuff. so all right so we got those all right now we're up to a unique item we have a bunch but we weren't able to get these all listed and they're every single Did one you tell is different the price of this i didn't it's 39.95 that's your job and this is the small european dough bowl and we have 20 available of these yeah. But we only have six of these. So if this one's your favorite, you got to buy now. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm playing. I'm We're playing, playing the home shopping network situation. We're trying to create urgency. I'm playing Vanna over here, and you're the one that gives them the info. Oh, okay. All right. Cement molds. These. We actually have more of these, but this is the only one that's up right now. This one is the trellis style. You want to show them the back? They're made to hang, so they come with little hooks, but I'm going to try to use a couple of them that I liked for myself to actually re reproduce the mold that was supposed to be in so there. This one is $49.95 and they comes with hooks so you can hang them on the back. There will be more, but each and every single one of them that I put up later is unique. So no two are going to be alike. So when you see like all that fancy detail that's on the side of buildings, old buildings, this is how they did it. They made them and then they went and just plastered it up. So we have, I think we have 10 of these total, but this is the only one up. This is the trellis cement mold. And I will probably tomorrow put more up as I have time. Some of the things take a little longer because they're all unique and individual. You're going to want to look in um, antique and handmade. Um, those collections are going to be the ones that have a lot of these. And it looks like uh, Elaine Morris has jumped ahead because she just bought a petite heart bowl, so we should probably show people what they are. I'll show them that, but then I'm going to take a minute and show them the Waste Not Wednesday stuff. Oh, I yeah. Think these are both still They're available. on the website. So this is the petite dough bowl. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Um, in the petite size, we have... Hold on just a second. I'm going to pull this up. We have 14 of these little ones. Now, these are what you put your keys and your change in. Do not give your husband a giant double. Look, look. What? So, all right. So, my wallet does not fit in there. That change, not wallet. 
I want somewhere to just put my stuff okay. so it's all there. All right, right okay, time. fine. How about this one? This yeah. is the big dope. This is the big heart, and we have 10 of the regular size. That one could work. This one's Zeb size, but I'm not giving you that giant double. We actually had more of these. I um, show them side by side so they can see how big they are. So you can see the difference. And we had more of these, but Odelia took one. Actually, I need to take one off of here because Odelia took one. <laughs> For herself. She's like, I love it, and I've been helping all morning. I'm taking this. Yeah, th that's what happens. So let's see, negative one. How do I do that on this thing? You just adjust it minus one. I can't find the minus. <laughs> Don't buy them all. I can't get rid of it. Where is it, Zeb? Wait a second. I'll just show you these fantastic doubles. Now these are hand carved, so every single one's going to be slightly different. So anytime you see something that says handmade. Just know that they're going to be a little bit different. Did you? Okay, good. He fixed it. Okay. All right. So the, if you remember the Waste Not Wednesday video, the one oh, that yeah. had all the internet problems and the streaming issues, hopefully I have fixed that. I, uh, I had a lengthy conversation with our internet provider and we did some troubleshooting and I upgraded because I was like, yeah, I can't have While that. While I'm here, let's get three times the internet power. So if the internet is blurry again, so help me. So this is the finished We're going to go flying. So this I can is show you. up under um, on antique found items. Um, I'm going to have to go back because I'm in recently updated. Let me go ahead and find this. Now we have two of these. This is the big one. This is the one that we did yesterday, but it has the tote inside of it and then also organizers in the inside. And it's got feet. And this is, let's see if I can find the actual item. Sorry, see it's going to be See the fun little feet and the handles on the side. Do, do, do. But that, that grain sack stencil turned out great on there. You know what the problem is? That we have too many items. Here we are. Custom painted boxes with feet. So this is the large one. It's $89.95. And hold on. I don't know. Where's the description box? There's measurements in there. So this one is 16 by 21 by 12 and a half. And it's pretty good size. It would be the size of like, I would think you could use it for a small coffee Still table. a functional lockable toolbox. Yeah, still lockable, still functional, but I made it cute. Does that count for anything? Yep, we'll count it. Okay. Um, and then we have the smaller box. That's the one that we added the handles to. And I did the stencil on this one. They've also been clear wax, so they're super durable and awesome. And this one is the one we made with the small tray feet that you can get on our other website, jamierayvintage.com. So you can just get these feet if you want them. Yep. And so this one measures 15 by 14 by 11, and it does not have a divider. This one is priced at $59.95. So the other one's $89.95, and this one's $59.95. They are adorable, and I actually like the distressing on them is perfection. I love it when you just get that even all over... Oh, it just, it's so good. If the farmhouse was finished, these, was, these wouldn't even be on the website. She's like, she's like, you need to finish that so I can keep all these things we've been making that I love. For sure. Like, seriously. Oh, some, Zeb, go get that antique turquoise pedestal. Somebody bought that. It says zero available. I'm going to find out who did it. <laughs> who did that? Who bought the antique pedestal before we even We didn't even it? show it, but it's really cool, so it's, we'll show it. And we're gonna I can tell you who it was. I can tell you by the price point. We'll, we'll hopefully get nope. more. Wasn't her. Oh, I think I know who it was. It was, I won't say it because maybe she doesn't want me to tell me, but this is already sold because she jumped ahead on the website. That's you cheating, guys. It's not cheating. It's not cheating. There's only one of them, and it's seriously the coolest thing ever. Now, the thing is, you probably can't see. Oh, now they can see it. See that turquoise on there? Is that not amazing? Oh, there's something priced at zero dollars. Hold on. Don't buy it. <laughs> this always happens every time she does a bunch of I stuff. I was in a hurry. Okay, so this one is... Hold on. And it's priced. <laughs> Thanks. I have the best people because if it was anybody else, they'd be like, oh, that's free. I'm going to buy So this it. was probably at the top or the bottom of a big wooden pillar. Okay. And sitting nice. up, there was probably like 20 of these in a row holding up a roof or something or a porch. And that's why it's got the hole in the center. I'm actually kind of sad that that sold. Yeah, this one is, uh, this one is cool. Robin got her banner that she bought last week. Oh, she wished I would have signed it. If you want things signed, you got to message me. I will totally sign anything you want. I actually need to make another one of those banners 
because another one's sold. But that's one of my favorite. All right. Okay, let's see. So I showed those two things. All right, so we have... Patty got the water drug. Next I up. can say that because... What did what did Jean buy? Jean... Jean bought something. Jean Marie, she... Oh, she got a little... She's like, I gotta have a heart bolt. She was and, just here working, stacking those on shelves. Maybe it's for her, I don't know. Easter's coming, so I think those little heart dough bowls would be so cute to put in baskets. All right, so this is oh, a bought. cheese mold, and they're a little bit... I don't know, do we have one of the uh, sugar molds out? They're a little different than yeah, the sugar molds. Yeah, because I put... Did I put the sugar molds yeah, on there? I've got it over here. Because I did some of them. We've had a 12 hole for a while, but I got some smaller ones too. Um, apparently, Zeb needs to make me a brand. We actually do have one. It's a little bird, and Zeb puts it on the things that he makes. Yeah. All right, so this is the three hole sugar mold. Zeb's jumping ahead, but we'll go ahead and talk about that one because I just put that on the website. So if you guys have seen the, the big mamma jamma, those are kind of spendy, but this one's $19.95. It's the perfect size for like Ikea succulents or crayons, crayons in your pencils, craft room. Brushes. I, Joanna Gaines did a big long one with crayons, but if you don't want to spend the funds on the big long one, this is a good one. Plus, if you don't have the space. Let me show them with the little succulents. Yeah, and they can, we have some succulents we sell on our website. So if you find this on the website, you'll see it with the succulents, and that's what I staged it with. I already put those away. Put oh, you already put them away. What are these lavenders? So we're, using, we're using just the dollar. Oh, look, dollar store lavender. These are Dollar Tree lavenders. Check, it, check Boom, that out. Boom, baby. Just throw that up for spring, you know? It's raining outside. Did I get fan April. mail from Canada this week? I think I did. And I'm saving it for Saturday's thrift haul. I have some fabric covers. Was that you? I got those this week. And I also got a jar with encouraging words from Amy. So I'm going to I'm gonna talk about those on Saturday's thrift haul. All, All right, right. So we have the cheese mold. Oh, the new single. website is JamieRayVintageHome.com. A purple lily. And then the three-hole uh, sugar mold. That one is awesome. Okay. So you showed them the size in the, between the single hole. Yep. Okay, now let me pull up the pricing on that. So $19.95 for the three hole, the single hole cheese mold, which I feel like it's definitely a put your keys in that one. Will that one fit? That no one? My keys? No, your actual keys. This one's $12.95. So you could put your keys I in. I have that. a lot of big keys. The though. problem is our fobs are giant for our vehicles. We both drive big Fords. And apparently when you drive a big Ford, you have to have a big fob. They are big. <laughs> The heart bowls. Oh, somebody was just asking about those. Let me go back. The heart bowls are $12.95 and $29.95. And then the single hole cheese mold is $12.95. $12.95 for this mm -hmm. one. How much is the three hole? Um, I must have put them up at different times, so hold on just a second. They're not in order. They're not in order. It depends <laughs> on how I put them in. The three hole cheese mold um, is also spelled incorrectly with a W. I was using voice text. Vintage vibes. I do not have a new hat. This hat is just, I was spraying the ceiling at the farmhouse and this is like leftover spray dust residue and I have another hat, <laughs> but you know, all my hats are it's, paint hats now. It's custom. So this one is $22.95. So here's the thing. This one, what did I say? This $12 one was $12.95. So this one's $12.95 and this one's $22.95. So this is buy two holes, get one free. Because... <laughs> if you do the math, if you do the whole math. Plus, if you have these, what are these, locker markers? Yeah, we have locker markers. Those we just I'll show you these in the just website. a second because these are also for sale that was being held in here. All right, I'll pull those up so that way I can talk about them intelligently. My sister said we should have everything organized and order on the like it's more fun like this. i don't i don't do organized but there, it's better now because i have the ipad okay so we have a bunch of these little locker plaques tons oh, of odelia's them. odelia's on here giving out pricing for the heart bowls Odelia knows what if i costs. get the cheese mold do i get the car keys with it no <laughs> you can also take the payment for it those car keys are why we're doing this <laughs> diana just got off work hello Hello, hello. So you can see they've got different patina and things like that. They came off of actual lockers. Mm -hmm. So these are priced at $3.95 each, and we have different numbers. And I organized them on the website by number, so you can pick the number you want. And certain numbers I only have one of, 
Um, the most I have of any number is four, which ironically is the number seven, and that's how many people are in our family. There's seven people, and I have the most of those. These are vintage lockers, so they came off of actual lockers. These are not reproduced. Like the little tags. Yeah. Some of them might be a little bent. Because they're authentic, they're legit old. But lots of, lots of different numbers and variations on these. They're fun to be fun to do like a little bracelet or something out of those. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's put, see, put what a did, little band on oh, it. And... Robin said she loves that the kids' handiwork is up on the website. It is. And I can tell you right now, when you guys buy things that the kids make, they are jumping up and down excited. Redrick was over the moon that somebody bought his box. And Eliza, Odelia, they've all done things. In fact, Harrington has some cutting boards. Oh, um, they just, we can show those here in a little bit, but Harrington has cutting boards that he makes now that are up on the website. I'll show them the cutting boards. You guys want to see those? Okay, we'll go, we'll go cutting boards next. Let's see if I can find them on here. Um, handmade cutting boards. All right, so these cutting boards are $49.95 and $59.95. There's a medium and a large one. We stain the cutting boards with milk paint and we use hemp oil to seal them with. So that way they're food safe. So this is the medium sized one. Show them against your forearm. Oh, it's big. It is, it's big. You, a lot of people call these uh, charcuterie boards. Sure. Well, I, I feel like charcuterie ones are like the skinnier Long ones. and skinnier. These are a little bit fatter. When they can get still more be mice, used like that. Yes, so we are getting more inventory on Tuesday, I believe. And so I will be updating that probably tonight when I get a chance. Some of the mass produced stuff is getting updated. I just like to wait till we're closer to getting it in stock. And then we got this big mamma jamba here. Otherwise known as large. Large. And it's $59.95 and these are all handmade by Harrington. The wood is not actually old, but he makes them look old. So they're a lot like the ones that made from the ones that I made from the farmhouse 1917 with the old wood are a little more pricey because we can't get any more of that wood ever. Yep. These are, we, these are a little bit less expensive because the wood is not old, but we're the masters of making things look old because they got, they got some age to them and Harrington made them. So they're slightly imperfect. Yeah. Well, it's like that on purpose. You know, he's just, he, he loves making these. I had him making some corbels. He's like, can I just make cutting boards all day? I'm like, well, if we can get them sold, sure. Yeah, we got to sell these first <laughs> and then we'll get you to make some other ones. Can Harrington make a smaller one? Sure. So we have a medium and a large, so maybe we'll get a small one up. Okay. Uh, maybe tomorrow if he's got time to make some. All right, let's move on here. Now, these are really cute. We only have three of them. You want to show them up close? Yeah. So these are... They um, don't have the keys for them. They're just locks. They're just the locks. They're all shades of turquoise, and I believe they are $9.95 each. That would make a cool necklace too, though. Yeah. I actually was thinking about that because Debbie has lots of cute jewelry, and I was like, she would love one of these on her These necklace. come with, complete with big. authentic rust. They probably live by the ocean somewhere from the looks of it. Yeah, they're two inches by one and an eighth inches, so they're not so big that you couldn't wear them as a necklace. They're not like ginormous locks. They're actually Let me show you all size. three together so you can see the difference in the variation of the coloring. Oh, the, the cutting boards need the bird logo. Okay. If you buy one of those cutting boards, we'll put the bird logo on I'll show you the bird on. logo. I have it here. I could put the you bird have... logo on it right now. You're going to get the blowtorch out while we're live on the home, Stay at Home Shopping Network? No, we'll do it at the end. <laughs> if, who wants to see me put the logo on the boards at the end of the video? Comment now. I'm not sure our insurance covers blowtorches, so if you're my insurance company and don't watch it's, this. It's fine. It's fine. All right, Kay. They said yes, so all right, we'll do it at the end of this video, okay? Okay, and then we have a ton items. of these keys. They're all different. They have all different sizes, so it's just like an average general size. This one has a little heart. And they are small enough that they would fit on a necklace, and they're $5 each. They're actual antique skeleton keys. I did a virtual picking tour to buy all of this stuff, and I was super excited when I found those. And I got them, so woohoo! They said yes on the logo. And somebody else bought something on the website. Let's see, what what, what did we sell? Let's check. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, small European dough bowl. We sold a three-hole sugar mold. Deborah, I won't sell Can we make more lesson. of the round boards? Yes. We I the, the round boards are a little tricky because they're made out of maple and the board only comes this wide, so I have to glue them all together and then cut the little groove in the middle. It, 
they're they're a process, I and I haven't had time right now. I would watch for those to come out when the farmhouse is done, because those are quite. I've been working a lot on effort. the farmhouse lately, so that's taken up a lot of my creativity time. Oh, those European doubles are popular. Hope got one too. Nice. All right, let's. Okay, what to else them. to show? Okay, so we showed Harrington stuff. We also the have. These are five dollars each. These antique keys. Yeah. We also have some small cutting boards. We do These not. Are, oh, hold on, just a second. We do not ship to the UK on this website. However, if you email Lehigh Shop at jamieraydentage.com, and I will have Caitlin drop that email with what you want, right, I can get you a shipping quote. The website's just not set up to ship internationally, but there are many items that I do ship internationally. It just is a little bit more legwork there. Answered your question. All right. Blue well. cotton by Cami. All right. Side note from the home, the stay-at-home shopping network. When do we project the farmhouse to be finished? Right now, you know... Let, hold on, tell me. I was hoping the year mark that we would be able to live in it. Finished? It won't be finished yet, but I hope by the year mark we can live in it, which is like July. The reason I say that is because I keep hoping like a month, two months, three months, and then things keep coming up. Like I was waiting on bolts for a week and a half because they couldn't get them at my local supplier and they had to order them and then shipping was delayed. We will move in as soon as <laughs> it's mostly done. Yes. But it's been nine months. I could have had a baby by now. I'm kind of glad that I didn't. All right, let's go back to these situations we okay. have currently. These are handmade stained cutting boards. We do have a bunch of them. They're handmade. They're not authentically old, but they look good. Like if you need to put some cool stuff out on like some cheeses or something, you know? Cheese situation. Um, and these are not made by our children. No. They might be made aren't. by someone else's children, but not ours. Hopefully not. <laughs> well, I mean, everybody's somebody's child's up. That's true. There so we have go. the square. How much is the square? These are both $24.95. I actually have this as rectangle because it's a little bit taller and then the round. They're each $24.95. And they have like this good, authentic patina situation happening on them. I might have to score one of these because it's the perfect size to cut my frozen pizzas when I get them out of the oven. Or play giant ping pong. Yeah, there you go. All right, moving on. What was the big thing in the back of the truck? It was all of the things. It was a thousand pounds of goodness. Yeah, it was. It was all. It was wrapped in blue plastic, like. Uh, Vintage as that baby number six. That would be, mm, but. I don't know. The farmhouse is baby number I, six. I'm pushing forty, guys. I'm gonna be thirty-eight this summer, and I have a kid going to college. I feel like now. I feel like if I just hold out long enough, I'm gonna have grandchildren. So I can wait for that. Five or ten years. All right, next we have the cathedral window little, with no little glass. Little cathedral window. So that's it. Tyler says help. Tyler, I have a piece of furniture that I need advice on. <laughs> this is not the furniture. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> PM me on Facebook. Okay, so I believe this one is uh, $22.95, and it's 15 inches by 14 inches. So 14 wide, 15 tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Handmade, so they're going to be, they're, they're pretty uniform, like all the pieces are the same size, yeah. but there's a, some variation in them. A thousand pounds of goodness, it was. Um, no hanging hardware, but, you know, just put a nail, watch. Just put a nail on the wall. Ta-da! <laughs> this is the cathedral window for $22.95. There are 10 available, so you better buy now. Just kidding. I've been watching the Home Shopping Network, so I could get my, my group on. <laughs> Do we want to show them these? We can. We can show them the Crocs. We have two Crocs with lids and one without. And one Croc is darker brown than the, and the other well, one is light and on faded. This is the lightly this faded one. This is the label. lightly faded one. Okay. So the lightly faded one is slightly less expensive because it's lightly faded. The $64.95 comes with the lid. The, show them the number two. Number two. Number two meaning two gallons. Two gallons. And it has the crown on it. It's one of a kind, so there's only one. We have three Crocs, but they're all slightly different. Um, Ivana says, I told my 28-year-old daughter that if she made me a grandma, I'd cut a kid. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that means, Ivana, but I think at 28, she's probably old enough to make you a grandma. I had my first baby at 19, almost 20. Vintage Vibe says she likes the cathedral window. I'm yeah. going to leave it up here so you guys can look at it. So I'm going to go grab the other one. It's Jill, over on the how floor. do you claim what you want? All you have to do is go to jamierayvintagehome.com. All of the items are up on the website now, so you can actually pre-shop before we even show it to you. 
we do it that way so we don't have to organize payments and you can get all the information in one place. All right, moving on. So this is this is the lightly faded logo croc with the lid. This is the dark logo croc, number two as well. Has the same number two stamped up on it. So the dark one, hold on, with the bright, I called it the bright label, $69.95. So you get the faded label for $5 less, but if you want the bright label, it's $69.95. What? Jill says she's very familiar with that website. <laughs> I'm glad. All right, and I'll show you guys the one without a lid. I love it when I do somebody's order, and I, we've only had the website for, what, like two weeks now, two and a half weeks, and somebody's on their fifth order, and I'm like, someone's been doing a lot of stay-at-home shopping. All right, so this is the bright label, $69.95 for this number two crock, and then we have one without a lid, and I actually really like this, this one. This one has the best crackle on it. I know. It's got, like, bomb crackle, no lid, and I love that the number two is up higher. I have to say it's probably my favorite, and I shouldn't say that because it's the cheapest one. It's $49.95 because it does not come with a lid. I put my um, rolling pins in them, so I don't really care if they have a lid. Yeah, they have rolling pins sticking out with the cool painted handles on them. All right, let me get these off. And then here, you want to tell them about these brick molds and tell them about your, uh, your okay. shopping expedition and why these ones are all cool and special? Lolly Lolly says she's waiting for more grown children. All right, so we have had antique brick molds up on the website for a while. We are not changing the listing for them. I believe they're $19.95, but the ones that we just got, so if you order them now or you ordered them a few days ago, because I put them up on the website a few days ago um, with the shipping as starting tomorrow. Look what they have inside of them. The all the ones that we have right now, they're all different. And no, I'm not saving you specific letters, but they all have this, which is the hand carved letters in them. The other ones I had didn't have them. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them again, but when I was doing my virtual picking and she showed me these and I'm like, I'm gonna need 15 of those. I think we've already sold like five of them. Let's see if I can find these on here. Uh, we only have 10 left and they are 19.95. Super chat, oh, vintage, vintage vibes. vibes, a tiny contribution to the kids' basketball. Oh, well fun, that'll be awesome. Oh, Dillian knows, but the other kids don't know. Yeah, the so. kids don't know yet. I'm trying to find one at Costco because they're like half the price there. But and I haven't better quality. Been able, I know, I haven't been able to get one. I might have to break down. It might be a little minute longer if I have to pay what Amazon is charging. <laughs> All right, next item yeah. up for grabs. You want to grab that one? I will yeah. pull up the listing This is here. the perfect thing to display your new croc on. It's a little pedestal. A little pedestal. We have a bunch of these. These are handmade. And, you know, they come pre-painted white, but you could take a little bit of paint and uh, really go to town and make them fun. I actually think I'd take the sander to them and distress some of the paint off. Take some of that paint back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. They're hand carved. They're all just slightly different. The picture, I actually have it staged with our dairy bucket, the smaller one with the handle um, on it, but I think really anything would be super cute on that. Also, if you had like one of those, um, what are those cloches? Or. Or if you had a watering like, can that you, you wanted can't to leave. You can't jump ahead. I haven't even told them how much these cost. That you wanted to leave out on the front porch. The pedestals are 24. 95 and they're not actually old they're just handmade but they're awesome um shasta bishop can i specifically pick the heart one the heart one what the heart bowls maybe she wants the heart oh the heart key keyhole. shasta i'm putting this over here if you send me an email you can have this one but only you because i don't know how many we have if anybody else emails me i'll have to dig through the pile so that one's going over there. Pedestal. $24.95 is what you said? What? Yep. Yes, $24.95. And Zeb was showing you the water and can. We'll show those in a hot second. Okay, we have oh, some Tanya's other things. Oh, here. All right. Okay, brick molds. Oh, so I know that Harrington and I have been making corbels and doing things like that, but they had these at a pretty good deal, and we really liked the design on them. Yes. So these are the corbels. Um, Ivana, you're going to have to PM me because I don't know exactly what your question is asking about, but PM me and I will help you out with that. So these are sold individually because sometimes people just want one for a vignette. These corbels are $29.95. They come pretty rough and stained, and I like them as is, but at that price point, you could also paint them yourself with some milk paint that you got from the website or some salt wash if you want to give them a fun look, but we're selling them stained just like this, $29.95 each. 
and we have 10. So that means we have five pairs if you each buy two. But they're priced individually, so you can show them. Ta -da! All right, these are, what are these measures? So they're 13 inches tall by eight by almost nine inches deep. And then across, they're five and a half inches across. So they're actually pretty wide. Yeah. They're nice and thick. I don't want any thin corbels. They've got a nice base on them to hold all your books up for your bookends. Oh, Renee's on here. Hello, sister. I need to be on QVC. QVC can't afford me. <laughs> and I don't want any of their weird stuff. Just kidding. Some of their stuff's probably not weird, but sometimes I'm like, Ugh. whenever I'm like shopping, whether it's for vintage stuff or handmade or even mass produced, I'm like, can they just have a, a section that says not cheesy? Because I have to search through so much cheesy stuff to find the goodness. All right. So we have two different sizes. I only want to sell goodness. We have two different sizes. Did you get the size variations on okay, these? Okay, I'll come one size. One size. Okay. okay. So the next thing, so a lot of these things are antique. So we put approximate sizes and we do our best. All right, so these are, you can show them that there's like a, a slight So this variation. is the variation in the size, not a huge difference. It just depends on if you really want to like put some water in there and break your arm or if you want to have like a medium load day. Yep. I'm a great salesperson. So, these are the antique galvanized water cans and they're $49.95 because they are legit old. When you get them, this is going to be inside. So the nozzle comes off if you want super flow or sprinkle. Even back in the day, they had varying amounts of water that could come out of your water can. Although, and these are farm fresh. They need a good scrub before we actually yeah, mail these out scrub to them. you. I don't see any holes. I don't see any holes. There's holes in the bottom. Oh, you mean in the bottom no, like yeah. leaking holes? So no. you could probably actually use them is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, I think they, they're functional. They're old, but still usable. Beth wants to know what we're doing. This is a stay at home shopping network. So everything you see, you can get at jamierayvintagehome.com. And these are the antique watering cans at $49.95. And we have six, not seven, not five, but we have six so far. And when they're gone, I don't know. We'll see when they come we, back. We'll see if we can get more, but some of these old vintage items it's like what we get and then they're well, gone especially right now because nobody's going out picking so i'm having to find warehouses full of goodness and then i virtually pick them and then they ship it here in large pallets and so it is what it is oh rose just got some keys yeah these keys are awesome some of the keys are like brassy gold and some of them are like the pewter so there's like a combination of those if you look in the picture it shows you the variation. All right, uh, this, this is called dangerous. <laughs> You're welcome. I love to do it because then I get all my shopping needs out when I'm buying all of this stuff, and then I don't feel the need to spend money elsewhere too often. Mostly I just shop for myself. All right. I think this would make like a fun little uh, thing for like right at the front of the door with, uh, you know, you toss some, the, Shoes in or something, get something muddy. Shoes? Like your Birkenstock? Yep, I am. That one costs extra because I have my shoe in it. Oh, Just it. kidding. <laughs> um, so these are $39.95, which makes them a little bougie, but it's because they are brass and iron. So. Handmade. They're handmade brass and iron, and they're a little bit more of a interesting technique situation. So I like them. And I think we only have... They're great four. colors. The coloring right now is perfect because yeah. like gold and brass is coming back real strong, but it's got the industrial iron too. These come from India, which is actually where a lot of brass comes from. Yeah, they, uh, they, they're good with the brass over there. They got a nice piece of brass. <laughs> Zeb's going to yell at me later about that one. I'm going to walk away slowly. It's a planter, yeah. If you were going to use it as a planter, you'd probably put a pot inside of it that would have a little bit of drainage because there's no holes in the bottom of that one. Um, Debbie thought that was funny. <laughs> they would be great for wedding floral. They would. Um, Jamie Ray Vintage Home got some orders. Let's see what people are... Wait a second. Let's what, see what people are ordering. While we're Ginger waiting. ordered two brick molds. And Susan ordered, I'm not saying last names for privacy. Oh, a cathedral window, this one right here. Christine ordered a pot, a three sugar mold, and some of those vintage rose dinner napkins. 
You know, the napkins that we carry are selling out before I even do a project with them. So I'm gonna have to order more napkins. Yeah, you guys been, are awesome. We got them so we could decoupage with them because they've got really fun floral designs. And Ooh, what did Wendy get? She, oh, she got one of the rectangle and one of the round cutting boards. They nice. actually look really cute, I think, paired together. Yeah. So good choice, Wendy. All right, we'll go back. So, I digress. So these are ammo cans, old, antique, vintage, I would say vintage ammo cans. And they have handles on them, which is excellent because now they're a fun pail that is nicely galvanized with some fun green on it. So we carry the tall an ammo cans, and these are like half the size of I'll the go, tall ones. I'll go get the tall ones. Do we have yeah. them on the website, though? I don't know if you put the tall ones on the website yet, but I'll I get them know. so we can compare and contrast. These are ammo cans because be right they have, see, they have like the stuff on Anything them. Anything with a handle is always known as Jamie's flower bucket. Yeah, I would put a flower in it. Oh, um, looks like Robin says she bought one of these. These are actual like old ammo cans that they cut down and then they bent over the sides so they're not sharp. Can you see that they bent them over there? And then they added a handle. So they're all gonna be slightly different. A lot of them have this fun green color on them. I like that. I'm not really sure, how many of these do we have? If Robin bought one, there might not be as many as one might have thought. Let's see, hold on. Where do we go? Where did we go? I did it. Oh, there we go. I missed it because I put flowers in it. Oh, 1995. That's how much these are. I actually think it's a really great deal for an actual legit old bucket because some new buckets that I buy cost about that much. How much? And they those? also have the X in the bottom of them. How much are you selling those for? 1995. I should sell them for more, but I guess these I'm are 38.95 for the big ones. So this is they what they would have looked handles, like before they were cut down. But they do have slots on either side, so you could easily attach like some hemp or something like a fun handle or now, even now i've got to go look wire. and see if i have those in there I these may not be on there but i wanted to show you the sizing difference they're not well how are we supposed to sell them if they're not on the west well i'm sorry <laughs> i've been a little bit occupied here i can add it right now do you even have a picture no but i'll just put it on here that way if anybody wants to buy it they can Wait, how much did you say those were? These are thirty-eight ninety-five cans. for the big ammo cans. How many do we have down there? I think we had four, but now you're gonna make me go look. I'll no, right I know back. we have at least four, so I'll put them in here. I'll hold on tracking. I gotta do this because otherwise. So yeah, you could get a little piece of uh, metal. They sell rod like this at Home Depot, and make yourself a handle for one of these. Maybe I'll do it for you later, but. Not on these ones. If we get more of these, I'll, I'll make All them. All right, here. Handles. I'm going to hop out of comments real quick. Hold on. I need you to hold that up and smile, and I'll take a picture. Hold on. We're going to put it on the website. <laughs> All right. Just a second. That's not going to be awkward. What are they buying? The ammo can? Yeah, I'm just putting it on there because... Oops. Just a second. Okay. Ammo. I'll get back to... Why is that not on there? Did it not save it? I don't know. Okay. Alright, next item. There's wait several a, items. Wait a second. You can't get to the next item because I haven't put the picture in there yet. Okay. I gotta do it because if somebody's watching this, they might want to buy it. So this ammo can with the handle reminds me of, you know, these might have been All taller right. and cut down. That's what I think happened. That's what I said. Oh, okay. They cut them down and then they rolled the edge. You were gone. I was gone. You were in the basement when I. Did I was that. just eyeballing the craftsmanship. I'm like, oh, those are those used to be tall. <laughs> okay, hold on. Now I'm back. To so you. in a moment we will talk to you about these once she gets that added. No, it's already been added and now the pictures in there. So if you want a large ammo can, they're thirty eight ninety five and they are on the website under large ammo can. So I these put the description. These in are a little tricky because we have different colors and different sizes and there's. Some variation. Hold on, my phone's being weird. Okay. All right, so. If you're renting out Zeb, that'll go. He's in the picture, but you only get the can. <laughs> oh, hold on. Somebody just ordered something. I think it was Sarah. So these are these Sarah's are Sarah's a chronic wear. shopper. I know. <laughs> she got a, sh a three-hole sugar mold. Nice. Sarah ordered a few things. We'll combine your orders, Sarah. All right. Oh, and she got a lock. Well, as we keep going, she's just making sure she's yeah. ordering so she well, gets Sarah, the stuff. Well, Sarah, I would have put her. She also got that big uh, clear thing that we had on the hall, the glass thing. Oh. But that already shipped today, so we can't combine that one with it. We're okay, on so this is, a, this is a pot with handles. 
Okay, let me get that one. I gotta get pressed. Also up. fun for planting. They come with authentic rust. This is so weird because the handles are on the inside. It's like they flipped it wrong side out. Like normally know. they're on the outside, so maybe that makes it more. Uh, maybe they desirable. put it on the inside so that they could roll this edge, so it would still pour good. I don't know. Because that's why they roll the edge on stuff. It helps it pour and not get caught and want to go all. And over. And then it get all over your hands. I don't know, but it would be awesome to plant in, which is what I was thinking, because it's a good sized bucket. It's twenty six ninety five, and this is that French blue. So all of the enamel, except for one that's black, all have the French blue edges which we all know that that's my favorite. So this one is $26.95 and we only have the one. So one and done on that one. This is the black one she was talking about, but I really like this one because it's got this light blue speckled interior. Hold on a second, I gotta find see that. that? It kind of looks gray and black on the camera, but it's actually blue, like a really light blue. Oh, you can see it when I move it away. Apparently the locker tags are popular because there's only three left. Oh man. And somebody just bought the hanging bird mirror. But now I gotta go back. I gotta find this one. Oh, okay. The black enamel bowl with a blue speckle. This one's a Z. Did you tell me it was one of your favorites? This is one of my favorites. Yeah, I don't know if it's more valuable or not. It's 1995, we only have the one, but Zeb loves it. It looks like an old fashioned baby bath. I mean, yeah. Or you could, like, if the kid could sit up, maybe. Yeah, it's it's not super. It's not super big. I mean, my. It hand... wouldn't fit one of Zeb's kids. No. I know, cause I birthed five of them. They were all between eight and nine pounds with like fifteen inch heads. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so that one's nineteen ninety five. Do you have one these ones separate? <laughs> so those are all are... on the same listing, but I have a bunch of variants. So this one is the small enamel bowl. It's twelve ninety five. Medium is $16.95. And then we go straight to extra large because I didn't have like a large size. We don't have the large size currently. No. Those have the blue around them as well. And then we have a bunch that are this size. We have a bunch as in six because somebody bought some. No, six is all we've had. Six is how many, yeah, how many, six we is have how many we've had. These all vary slightly in size because obviously they're not mass produced. But they are, they all have the French blue, but you might want to shut that door because we're shipping. Oh yeah, so these have been cleaned out. So this is, this is how they're going to come when you get them. Yeah. So if you're just tuning in, because I can see the numbers popping up, go to jamierayvintagehome.com. That's where you can find all of these items. And if you're hearing the tape, we have people shipping right now <laughs> on both websites. We literally have people shipping around the clock. The shops close this week because it's spring break. And so we have in the front part of the shop, we've got people shipping for the home decor website. In the back part of the shop in the corner is the Jamie Ray Vintage website for paint. And in the studio, I'm like photographing, cleaning, measuring all day long. It's crazy town. These are my favorite of all the things I picked in case anybody was wondering. So if you don't buy them, that's cool because they're going to the farmhouse. And they, these are all they had. She's like, I don't know, you might be interested in these. These are just some old and I want all of them. That's what I said. I was on FaceTime. That was my exact face. <laughs> Ivana said my friend just had a 10 pound, five ounce baby and had to have a C-section. Mine were all natural, except for I do do the epidural. If you have comments about not using drugs, keep them to yourself. I like to play cards while I'm in labor and that's what we do. Okay. All right. Hold on. I've got a bunch of these. So let me. These are them. actually some of my favorites too. So maybe my second favorites would be these because I like anything galvanized. I think this is actually the last thing to show them unless you wanted to show them some sneak peeks of stuff we're going to work on getting up the rest of this afternoon. The question is where are they? Oh, the two handled vintage buckets. Two handled so vintage. So these come in extra small, small, medium, and large. So this is extra small. You're going to get this one when it's you get the extra small. It's actually pretty big even though it says extra small and it's $45.95. They all have these great ha handles on them, except for this one's a little different, but I'll show you that. Well, these handles are all up and down and the other ones are sideways, that, yeah. the large one. This is the mean, small. This, this is, small, is the small slightly one. bigger. And that one is $49.95. We say small, but it probably holds three gallons. Yeah. Two and a half. And these are all gallons. legit old, so yeah. they're like one of a kind. Everybody's talking about people's weights. What did Odelia <laughs> say? She said, Jane Brown, it's from Painting at the Farmhouse. She wants to know why. Oh, yeah, I sprayed the ceiling at the house and I was wearing this hat and all the spraying dust got on my, my hat. I had a respirator on. If you, some of you may have seen it on Insta stories if you follow us at Jamie Ray Vintage on Instagram. And uh, Jamie had a picture of me 
and where I didn't have my mask on, the rest of my face was white. <laughs> it was good. All right, Denise just bought an ammo bucket. Janine bought a cathedral window. Jan bought, let's see, hold on, a handmade cutting board in a rectangle. And Alyssa, I hopefully, got a small pie pan and the enamel bucket. So that enamel bucket's gone because I only had one of those. And I think I already talked about Sally. Did I say what Sally bought? Sally, oh, you're the one that bought all the locker tags and the quail legs. The quail legs are so cute. The galvanized stuff is good. Should we show them the quail legs? We can show them the quail eggs, but... We have the box here of the ones that I was sending back. We can show them to Hold them. Hold on. I'll go look for it in just a sec. But I wanted to talk about this bucket because this is the medium oh, bucket. Okay. But it's got the handles that are different, but it also has some branding. It says R-E-X Rex there. It's and, the only one like that. And then on the bottom, it's got this little roll detail too. Desiree says she wants to buy Jack. And that would be creepy, except for Desiree's my niece. So <laughs> I'll allow it this one time. So this one's probably like a full, this is getting close to five gallon bucket size. Like it's all, it's not quite as tall as a five gallon bucket. So it might be like three and a half. Um, Lolly says I'm five foot tall and they told me she was having a six pound girl and then she had a nine pound, eight ounce boy. So our biggest was Red Rick. He was, different. he was nine pounds and like 22 inches long or something yeah. like that. And I'm five foot four, but I also have wide hips. So I guess that works. All right. So this is the big mamma jamma. So this is the large. Yes. And this one is got the good rust in there we still. We will clean everything. Like when we say they're farm fresh, like we just got this off the pallet and they got it. They went picking over in Europe or wherever they were at and this is how it came to them and they sent it to us like this too. And I actually clean it before it comes to you. Yeah, we will wash it out. Yes. Um, and if Les is watching, Les, it's going to get cleaned because she likes things to be clean before we show them. But we were busy. Like legit, Zeb picked up all of this stuff and we Well, we got were 10 it. minutes late because Jamie's like, I have to get the, the dough bowls on. The dough bowls on there. Which was good because <laughs> we've sold a lot of them. I knew that we would. So we were working up until we started live. All right, so this is the large. I would say that this is a full five to six gallons because it's pretty big around. It's big around. This is, this is probably a four gallon size or close to it as far as like four gallon bucket go. And this is probably five to six because it's about the same height, but it's a lot bigger around. So, um, are your sales higher with the, and I'm not going to say the next word, but we're going to say situation. Um, I don't know because we just opened the Home Decor website. We have nothing to compare it to. I have been, nothing to compare it to. And it hasn't the, even been open a month. Yeah, it hasn't even been open a month. The paint website, I don't know either because we've been having sales. Um, so that makes it really difficult. But I would say that they've held pretty steady. Um, and the home decor is new, so I don't know. We should have probably started a website a long time ago, but we just started it because now we're we're closed. The shop's closed this week. We might close it next week. We haven't decided. Um, and then. And for those wondering, we are not on shelter in place. No, we're not on shelter in place here. All right, Deb, what were you gonna show them? I'm looking for the quail eggs that you wanted oh, to show. Oh, they're them. down in the basement. Oh, okay. Well. Well, what? Oh, give me that bucket over there, real quick. The dairy is bucket. This, is this sold? Yeah, that's sold. Oh, we have these. I think these. No, those are not on the website. On. Okay. Where's the dairy bucket? It's behind your bum, right there. With the flowers in it. Oh. That one. I'll go run and grab some quail eggs. And the flowers are on the website too, aren't they? Yeah, we sell all the flowers on the website. This is a new one. This is a dairy bucket, and it's not actually old. <laughs> we have this one here. Now, let me look at this real quick. Zeb's going down in the basement to grab the quail eggs. Let me just type in dairy. We have a few things that are dairy, so. All right, dairy metal galvanized pitcher. This one is $15.95, comes with a handle, and does not come with rust because it's not actually old. But look how cute that is. This is new. We just put that up on the website. All right, let's get some questions from this. Let's see. I want the black bowl. Can't find it on the website. All right, Karen, let me see if I can help you out here. Products. Oh, cancel products maybe it's let me just search the word black and see if it comes up it does black enamel bowl with blue speckled interior so if you go to antique vintage found in that collection you'll find the black enamel bowl but if you just search the word black only like one two three four five six things pop up so you should be able to find if you just search the word black zeb's found the quail eggs so i found so i found cute. the quail eggs Aren't they cute? Those are fun. Let me let me take a get. They look like they're real. I think they are real. They've been drained. Oh, they're real. They're real eggs. 
They're real. And we've been packing them extra special because I thought they weren't real when I first packed them. And the first box had a few, not this kind, but the other eggs. We sell the American ones had a few travesties. So we now double, triple, quadruple bubble wrap that situation. They're Jamie asking for chartreuse boards. boards in the same ash color. So the same coloration that the big cutting boards are in, but narrower. Is that what you're asking yeah, for? Yeah, I think so. So these come, how many are in here? What? So there's 20 in here. 20 eggs. How much are the eggs? Um, let me see. Let's Let me just take search those gander. out. Seb, you want to grab that apothecary mirror. I just put that up last night. It's a new one. Where is it in the hall? Um, wait a second. Oh, there we go. There's seven of those available and they're $8.95 for those quail eggs because they're kind of small. The little baby eggs. All right. I don't see, oh, the one with the flowers on it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to show you guys more of the things that my kids made that I put up on the website, but pretty much all that stuff sold as soon as it got up there. Yeah, the handmade stuff that we're doing, people are checking that often, and it's as soon as we update it, that stuff seems like it's selling. It is doing very well. All right, so this mirror just got put up. Put up. I want to show them the back of it because I don't think you can tell from the website how old it actually is. So this is an IOD transfer that's on here. So it's, it's a dust only, no, no spraying it down. And then this is the back of this mirror and you can tell how old that actually is there. All right, I'm not seeing, yeah. And it's been like, painted, oh. looks like apothecary and white waxed. Oh, I wanted to show them this too. All right, I'll pull that one up. All right, so this one is really fun. And if you want to make your own, then you just need to go to jamierayvintage.com and get the Flora Periensis. I can't say that word. Periensis. Yeah, that thing. Get Something. that transfer That's and close. then apothecary and white wax on the frame. But this one is awesome because it's got a legit old antique frame. It's already Did done. somebody ask how much that was? Well, let me tell you. Can you go get that gardener pot one thing that I just got? You know the what I'm talking about. Gardener pot one thing. You know, the one that has all the pots. In the picture, oh, yes. it doesn't look as like apothecary colored as it is in real life. So that's why I want to show you that one. That one is $89.95 for that mirror. So just to give you an idea, the transfer alone is $30. So if we take 90, so 60 bucks. So you're paying about $60 for the mirror and the paint job because the transfer itself is $30. I'm doing some DIY math. All right, this one is awesome, and I don't think you can tell how awesome it is from the picture, so I wanted Zeb to bring it out. This is the Gardner Pot Rack. I only have four, and I actually don't think I'm gonna be able to get any more because they were like a limited supply when I bought them. And I love this. I love the handle. It's like this aged dark wood, and then it has one, two, three, four, five, six pots in it. The thing that's so great is that the pots come out yeah. And I think you could probably find terracotta pot size that you could put in there and you could rotate your stuff. Well, through. you could paint these pots and put transfers on them. I mean, yeah. there's a really a lot of options. You could even put like, if you were having a party, you could put silverware in them when social distancing is over and it's $49.95 and it's really big. Is this like, floral we sell too or no? Um, except for that one. This we, one is not no, for sale. Actually, nope. This is all thrifted. This size. is all thrifted floral. So this, this doesn't come with it. <laughs> I just used it for staging purposes. Just here, so I'll show them with just the okay. pots. This is it's what you did. It's 22 and a half inches tall, so it's actually it's almost two feet tall. It's pretty big. It's cat, and this is cast iron, yeah. Pardon? Uh, no, it's just metal. It's just metal. It's just strapping. It looks like cast iron. Can I say that? Sure. It looks like cast iron with a galvanized. It's pot. just it's just an iron like stand. That's what I would say. Um, Blue Cotton says she made a mirror with that transfer after I, she saw it. Yeah, it's a, it's a great transfer for mirrors. We've sold a lot, a lot of it's them. It's Flora, what is it called? Parisian says, I can't, I have to look at it to say it right. Jill, just search the word Flora, and that's on the JamieRayVintage.com website. That's where we sell our pain products, and you'll find it if you just search Flora, because I can never either spell or say Paris. Peri Stop trying. Stop it. Stop it, you're adding letters. Oh, you know what I want to show them? I want to show them those baskets because we've not sold one one of those baskets and they're bomb. What baskets? The one there on those shelves over there. They don't photograph well because they put plastic in them in case you wanted to plant like live plants in them. Hold on. 
but you could totally take the plastic out. I just didn't because it comes with it. Hold on. So these are the gray willow baskets and they come with a set of four. So you get all four baskets um, for them and they are priced at $42.95, but you get four baskets. So it's just over $10 per basket, which are ready like, to plant. Yeah, they come with a plastic, but if you didn't want that, you could totally just take it out. Like it's not secure to where you can't take it out. And they are awesome. I think they'd be really cool on a wall. Maybe I need to photograph them that way. But anyways, the biggest one. The big one is big. Like yeah. look, it fills up the whole camera screen sitting here next to me. So 22 and a half inches, almost two foot wide for that one. And then it's three and a quarter inches high. These are awesome. So if you have not looked at them, check these out. These are the gray willow baskets. They come in a set of four and it's 42.95 for all four baskets. All right, I think that's everything yeah. we have. We do have quite a few more things to add. We just did not make it to adding them. Yeah, so, so make definitely. sure you're checking back often to the website to see what's new. Uh, everything that's on there, to, like I'm done tonight, put a fork in me, I'm gonna go have some cake. But tomorrow I'm going to be loading up more items. So stay tuned for that. Saturday we will uh, have our fake thrift haul. So that's Saturdays at 8 p.m. Um, but you promised them that you would show them branding. Oh! Get out the blowtorch. That only takes a second. Where's the... All right. Where's what? While I'm getting my supplies, what you, do you what am ask I the good people of YouTube where they would like the bird logo to be. Up here on the handle? Should we put it like up oh, on the corner? Oh, it needs to be on the handle. Okay, we'll just do it up on the handle on top. That's good. Enough. That's where it's going to go. Oh, who's, who's calling the shop? Stop uh -huh. adding letters. Did I say cake? I did say cake. I'm actually not sure I have any cake at home, but I do have cake in a box, and Odelia is watching. So maybe Odelia could ask Eliza to bake me a cake. I'd ask Odelia, but Eliza is very methodical. She made cookies the other day by herself for the first time, and they actually looked and tasted like cookies. Odelia is more like her mother. Sometimes it turns out, sometimes it doesn't. So this is just a little, it's a big nail that had a big nail head on it, and I took a file <laughs> and ground it down into the shape of our bird logo or similar. It's pretty close. Are you making more just, cutting boards? Well, we, these we have on the website and we can make as many as people order. So. And I just take my burns o -matic. So you guys are on the home- Harrington makes this one. The stay at home shopping network. You guys are getting a little bit of behind the scenes, almost like a waste not Wednesday type situation. Okay. So I don't, literally don't just- Don't get my fake eyelashes. So I take my burns o -matic, right? This is just propane gas on the bottom. And I don't think you can see the flame, but it's on. And it gets real hot real fast. Oh, sorry, the thrift haul is at 8.30. We did not change our time. Forget what I said. 8.30 Mountain Time. 8.30 Mountain Time. It's always going to be that. We won't change it. Sorry about that. 8.30 Mountain Time. So I just get it nice and hot. And I usually test it on a piece of wood to make sure it's hot enough. But we're going straight for it. They wanted to know if the dough bowls are food safe. I don't know because I didn't make them. But I would put food in them. Everything we make, we make food safe. Okay, so that wasn't hot enough, so more test, more, more, uh, more heat. Where's your safety gear? He has glasses on. My PPE? This is like starting a fire at a campground. Like, if you light your stove on the, on the stove top, you're just as safe as this right here. I don't see the round cutting board. Let's see. We're in a well-ventilated area. board so look up handmade stained cutting board or if you just search the word round it will show up let me just double check that but you should be able to just search the word round this is a little difficult on this rounded handle here yes so if you just search the word round cutting board it'll pop up you know why they're probably not finding it is because not all the pictures showed up let and me there's the that. little bird it's on there let me get in there just search the word round and it will So it's not hot down here on the bottom. It just I just heated up the end. It's not people hot are, at all. People are ordering and now I can't search people them. Are, people are worried about my safety. Don't worry, I'm being safe. Okay. If this were to get hot, I probably would have held it with pliers or something, but I've done this many times. And I'm telling you, if you get a big nail like this and just heat up the very tip, you'll be okay too. But well, if you're worried, get some welding gloves and wear those. If you're worried. All right, hold on, I gotta fix this. For whatever reason, the round cutting board, my, not all my pictures like saved. So they're on there, it just didn't come up. So just search round cutting board and if you go to variants, round is there. I promise you we have them. I just don't know why it didn't save it. 
just didn't save it. All right, I think that's it. You want to take us home? Um, yeah, so if you want to purchase any of the items that you saw today, make sure you're hitting up jamierayvintagehome.com. And if I were you and you have extra time, check back every couple of days because it is my goal to get at least 20 new items up every day. We are getting stock that we're picking in and then I'm also taking unique items from the shop and putting them up plus things that the kids are painting. So don't miss out. Also hit up jamierayvintage.com for your paint and products. And no, I can't ship paint with home decor because that's a hot mess situation. Yeah. I think that's it. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Thanks guys for joining us for the second episode of the Stay at Home Shopping Network. Love you guys. Catch Bye. you later.